morning guys welcome to Snowbreak containment zone and we have a huge update incoming for our weapon so we have here a thank you gift by the way uh 10 weapon permit let's see more details on this so issue time within one hour after the announcement through in-game mail so it hasn't been an hour yet so this announcement was just released as you can see it was released 30 min 37 minutes ago this is from the official facebook page of the game so we'll go through the announcement and let's see what we have so what will be implemented in the next game version in august so not sure if this will be in i think there's an update coming in by tomorrow by friday but I think this one will happen in August, not to be included in this month's update. Please pay attention the following, the follow-up announcement for specific update time. So again, the release of this update hasn't been confirmed yet, but we'll discuss, uh, discuss the specifics of this update. So number one is reduce the modification uh, depth or range tier weapons. So instead of... Um, modifying your weapons up until tier 5 the maximum will only be tier 2 so for those who have modified their web weapons beyond tier 2 there will be compensation for that we'll go to that tomorrow so at tier 2 the same skill values as tier 5 um, had before the adjustment and, and modification cost will remain unchanged as well so we have uh, we're gonna be seeing here for detail rules see modification tier adjustment and compensation plan below so we'll talk about it later and number two an easier use operation mode will be added to mobile platform turning this mode uh, turning the turning on this mode can automatically lock the enemy and shoot but this mode will reduce the comprehensive damage of the operatives this will be auto 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 lock but with a penalty on damage i'm not sure if if you guys agree with this but let's move on with this and let's see what happens when this drops adjutants can choose the desired operation mode so basically you can turn on and off this feature this is not an automatic on feature so you have to turn it on weapon modification tier adjustment and tier compensation plan the following adjustments apply to weapons of the orange tier other tier weapons are not affected so um the tier two uh for the the high the highest tier for orange is tier two it doesn't apply to your purple rarity weapon so modification tier adjustment the maximum modification will be changed again from five to two two weapons in total instead of having what six so tier two will have the same skill values as tier five before the adjustment and the cost will remain unchanged for instance this is the example a weapon mod required four identical weapons to reach the max modification limit no it's only four four identical weapons so that's in including the original is only that's five previous not six so right now you will only require two copies so one um uh yeah tier one to tier two will only require one identical weapon and and the tier two weapon will have the same skill values as the tier five weapon again only two copies for you to max out your weapons for the orange tier just in case you already maxed your weapon out, here's the compensation plan because I'm sure you used more than two copies to max it out. If you currently have an orange tier with a modification tier, we will uniformly change them to tier two. The modification tier that's our reduce will be compensated with weapon components at a ratio. Weapon components, by, by the way, are going to be your new currency. There will be a shop for you to exchange item there, items there for the weapon components. We'll discuss that more later. Um, again, going back, the modification tiers. So let's say, for example, the other mod modification tiers, you have three in excess. So you will be um, given th uh, 30 times three. So that's 90 uh weapon components all in all but if you have orange tier weapons with a modification two 
and there are identical mod unmodified weapons in your storage for example there aside from uh maxing out to tier 5 you still have identical unmodified weapons those will be compensated at 1 is to 20 okay so the ones that you use is 1 is to 30 the ones that are in your storage that is going to be 1 is to 20 also the orange tier weapons will not be reclaimed after the adjustment any surplus unmodified weapons can be decomposed into weapon components at a ratio of 1 is to 10 so the normal decomposition the normal uh what they call this the normal breaking down after the adjustment is only going to be 1 is to 10 if you have extra in your storage if you have more than two identical unmodified weapons the extra beyond two will be compensated at a ratio of 1 is to 20. so here is the example for example before the adjustment you have a tier 5 um space cowboy and one unmodified space cowboy in your storage after the adjustment you will get a tier 2 and one unmodified space cowboy in your storage so meantime you will receive compensation again the extra three will be three times 30 that is why you'll be receiving 90 here and the tier reduction will be 20 for the surplus unmodified weapon which is only one totaling 90 plus 20 so 30 that you used um 20 for the one that you didn't use which is in your storage so i hope that is clear to all corresponding adjustments a new weapon exchange store will be introduced as i've said where you can use weapon components to exchange for any orange tier weapon you have acquired already each weapon will require 30 weapon components for exchange so one orange weapon equals 30 for the exchange note that before the update of the weapon adjustments decomposing orange tier weapons will not get any, get any weapon components this just means that if you have extra weapons do not decompose them at this point save them after the update so after the update of the adjustments decomposing orange tier weapons of any tier will get 10 weapon components it is recommended not to decompose or sell any of the orange tier weapons before the update of the weapon adjustment to avoid unnecessary losses so please save all your extra orange tier weapons do not um, sell them or decompose them before the update so just keep on saving them so that is it guys so hopefully if, hopefully you understand all these changes for the updates if you you know if you're if you have you still have questions please um comment down in the comment section of this video so that we can discuss and also you may catch me on stream later this evening you can also ask me that question as well so um this by the way is available in their official facebook page so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here